Hey everybody, Mike here from the Dude's Kitchen and Grill and today we are taking part in a collaboration with the Kitchen Queers and several other folks called Quarantine Cooking. But before we get into that, I want to remind everybody to please like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell to the channel. Really appreciate it. Quarantine Cooking. So Mitch and Chef over at Kitchen Queers came up with this idea and I thought, I dig this idea. I got to get in on it. Now here's the idea behind it can only use food that you have in your house. And I looked around and I, I've got a boatload of food, I'll be honest with you, I do. We're going through it, but still got a lot of food. So I grabbed the old Margaritaville cookbook, used it a time or two before in the past, and I went thumbing through it, and I came across Hush Puppies. And I looked at the ingredients, and I thought, man, I got everything for it. So I've already mixed it up, but I'll tell you what's in it. We have one and a half cups of cornmeal, quarter cup all-purpose flour, quarter cup of sugar, two tablespoons of baking powder, seems like a lot to me but got it, half tablespoon of salt, one egg, quarter cup of milk, one onion which is optional, and of course we're gonna fry them up. So with the onion it says in here grated. I didn't do grated I just cut it up and threw it in there but I also added chilies to it so I'm also going to make a butter that goes with this because when I go out to a restaurant and get hush puppies I do like the honey butter so I got a whole stick of butter here and some honey we're going to do it to taste whatever that means start cooking it down so here's our stuff for the hush puppies I'm just going to throw some scoops in here this is the heat or the oil excuse me is it about 340 right now? I just tested it. I'm gonna spray my scoop now. We're gonna try the first one. Let that cook for a moment and we'll be right back. So really what I'm seeing right now is very impressive. Although it doesn't look like a normal hush puppy. It's not completely round which means I probably put too much into the scoop. Man, it looks good and I bet it's gonna be amazing. I did have to step away for a few moments. That's why you're seeing the plate now because I did forget the plate. Now I really think that it only takes just a couple of minutes for these things to cook completely through. Take my glasses and use them to weight down the, the paper towel. That, my friends, is our first hush puppy. Let's do another one. The scoop, not quite as big. Go down. That one actually looks a little better. So while we're waiting for this one to finish up, just want to take a moment to remind you guys to like, subscribe, ring that bell, comment, appreciate it. Let's give this a flip. Looking just about perfect, do you like? Remember your hand sanitizer, guys. It's a must these days. Let's try one more. That hush puppy looks perfect, guys. Oh, man. Hardly wait to eat it. So our butter's done. Crazy me. I didn't bring anything. The handle's gonna be hot, but I'm gonna put it in here. About perfect. 
We're going to flip this hush puppy. That is the ticket right there. Let's try this hush puppy out. Mm. That is awesome. And you know what go good with this? Cajun shrimp. And that's our next episode that we're going to have coming out on Monday. All right, guys, another perfect specimen right there. All right, the recipe's down below on how to make these. Super simple, and it is a part of the collaboration that we're doing, quarantine cooking. So everybody, make sure you check out the other channels who are doing this. I'm sure these guys would appreciate the love as well because I know they're gonna come up with some really cool stuff. Anyhow, guys, thanks again for watching. Really do appreciate it. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, ring that bell. Remember the dude abides this time with hush puppies as a part of hashtag quarantine cooking. Talk to you later, guys.